All right, so I just want to um, introduce myself to you, Sherry Moss. I am a professor of organizational behavior at Wake Forest University, and I'm the associate dean of our MBA programs. And like, why is a business professor here? Um, and uh, I, I, um, I used to do research on abusive supervision. And one time, as I like to say, nature called, and but nature did call. Nature, the journal, um, emailed me and said, hey, do you think you could write an opinion piece about you know, um, bullying in academic science? And like most things that I agree to, my body screamed no, but my mouth said yes. And um, I, I said, okay, I will do that. And I, I thought I could because I'd had several PhD students come to me and talk to me about their PIs being um, very abusive. And you know, I'd kind of counseled with them. And so I wrote this pa paper that turns out to be on the first page of Nature Magazine in 2018. And I'm gonna be honest with you all, most of you are in science. I had, I mean, I've heard of nature, but I did not realize this probably has the highest um, index you know, value of any journal in the world. And um, so here I am one page on the, on the front. And, you know, and as soon as it came out, I started receiving dozens and dozens of emails um, from people um, just telling me, spilling their guts about their stories and just really, it was, it was, I, I have not been bullied, but I was almost traumatized by proxy by listening to and so many stories. They wanted to talk to me on the phone. I talked to several people on the phone. I heard their stories, but I was wringing my hands because I didn't know what to do. Never has my research, which it was, it was an opinion piece, but it was based on research in my field and as well as my own, had it, had it come alive for me like that. And so I didn't really know what to do, and I was wringing my hands. Oh my God, what do I do? And a, a, a month or so later, um, I see a, a, a reference to this article that I wrote, and it was Morteza who had cited it in another piece. And I'm like, oh my God, there's somebody who thinks about this stuff. And so I emailed him, and I'm, I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. You know, I see you're interested in this. Can, can we chat? Um, apparently, he had emailed me right after the piece came out and said he liked it and sent me something, but I failed to respond to that, probably because I'd seen so many other emails that were just hand, hands wringing. And so I um, emailed him. He kindly emailed back, unlike what I did. And, and we kind of formed a little partnership there that, um, and, and I was so lucky because he already knew what he was doing. He already had this vision for figuring out how he was going to help people in this situation, which is, was the beginnings of the academic parity movement. And so I just want to express my profound thanks to Morteza. If you all help me give him a hand for starting this whole. Because, you know, first of all, he bailed me out because he kind of knew what to do and had an infrastructure um, started that was going to help to do that. So. Uh, and, and, and he devotes so much of his time to it, and he's a nanoscientist, and he still publishes more than probably all of us in here are put together on top of, um, you know, trying to, to save the world from academic bullying, so I can't, um, I can't thank him enough. Um, I, I was going to kind of go through and provide a summary of our day, because we have had such a varied day, ranging from, um, you know, the NIH and what it's doing about academic bullying to thinking about um, you know, uh, what, how we can get the word out through journals and share our stories through the journals and know that they're willing to work with us to help us put them in a format that is um, palatable. Um, we had a heart-wrenching story um, from Nancy. Um, I can't even imagine um, what all she had been through, um, but uh, one, one comment stands out for me that you said, Nancy, nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. And so I think that is extremely powerful. So let's not let them do that to us. Um, we had Susan and Shelly um, actually turn after listening to heart terrible stories. We had them turn it around and say, let's think about pro-social behavior and let's think about civility instead of incivility. And let's look at the other side of the coin on this. And I think that was a refreshing um, way for us to um, put our mindset on, on the opposite of these kinds of behaviors. And then Deborah came and talked to us about her movement and all of the work that she is doing to get us to pass a law that will help us, um, the Workplace Psychological Safety Act, which I love. I talk about psychological safety in my classes all the time. 
um, and and I'm not giving you your due um, in the interest of time, but I hope that we will all um, work with you to continue to help to pass that. And I want to thank Jennifer for leading us in a workshop to help us understand the difference between bullying and academic freedom. Um, so just a couple of last comments. Um, you all might have noticed Jay and John in the back um, here running around. <laughs> I, I work with Jay and John every day in the School of Business. They keep us afloat every time I have an IT problem. I know they, it, it's usually user error, but they certainly help me out. Um, and they've been here since yesterday afternoon getting us set up. I want to thank all the people that are associated with the academic parity movement, all the founders and associates um, uh, for being here with us and, and being a part of this movement. And um, I want to give special thanks to those of you today who shared your stories with us. That was courageous and powerful, and it helps us keep it grounded in why we're here and what we're doing. So I just ask in closing that you all continue to support the academic parity movement. This is our fourth conference. This is the first time we've tried to do it um, live. We, uh, we chose Good Friday. That might not have been the best move, but um, uh, we appreciate you attending in person this conference and for all of those of you who are um, attending virtually from all around the world and have done so throughout the day. Thank you so much for continuing to support this movement.